percent of age 16 plus with two doses. That 12 to 15 year old age group is still creeping up, but um, quite stubbornly so. So please come out and get vaccinated. The first dose coverage is 83.2 per cent and the second dose is 78.5 per cent. We've got 38.7 per cent of children in that 5 to 11 year old age group and we're hoping to see that number continue to rise and just echo the Premier's comments about the importance of coming forward, um, getting your first vaccine if you haven't had been vaccinated and also that booster dose. We've currently got 40.8 per cent of the eligible population who've received the booster. I can't be clearer that a booster is essential in providing and maximising your protection against the Omicron variant. Two doses against the Omicron variant are not sufficient. You need the third dose. So anyone thinking that two doses is enough, um, can I, I can't be clearer. Please get that booster dose and get it as soon as possible. In terms of the um, number of cases in hospital, we have 2,779 people in hospital including 185 people in ICU, of whom 67 are ventilated. There were 13,026 positive test results, including 5,664 positive rapid antigen tests and 7,362 positive PCR tests. Sadly, today we're reporting the deaths of 27 people with COVID, 17 men and 10 women, and can I extend my condolences to their families for their loss. Of the 27 people who died, five were in their 60s, six were in their 70s, 10 were in their 80s, and six were in their 90s. Eight people who had received three doses of the vaccine, 16 people had received two doses, and three were not vaccinated. And of the four who died who were under the age of 65, three were men and one was, wom one was a woman, and three had received two doses of the vaccine, and one person was unvaccinated. All four had significant underlying health conditions. Uh, whilst my comments around the booster dose apply to everyone that is eligible, I particularly want to make a call out for those with chronic underlying health conditions and for those that are elderly. Um, I think as I tragically have read out the deaths that have occurred, you can see that there is a preponderance of people that are the elderly and those with underlying health conditions. And COVID will continue to impact on those individuals and being vaccinated, being boosted and taking those extra steps if you have those underlying health conditions to protect yourself and for the loved ones around people who have got those conditions to take those common sense steps um, will ensure that we keep people as safe as possible as we learn to transition to this environment where COVID will be with us. Thank you.